it's Josh Ward and Jennifer Simro, and uh, it is episode two of Live, Work, Play Clarksville. Today, we're so excited to be talking about everything on the north side of town. We're talking about Fort Campbell Boulevard and everything happening in that area. Of course, Rob Salome was the former garrison commander on post for a number of years, so we believe you're the perfect person to be having this conversation with today. Rob, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, it's an honor to have you and thanks for being with us. Just to get us started, I'm curious, what was your experience like living and working on the north side of town here in Clarksville? Well, it was really great. Fort Campbell in the 101st has a special place in my heart, having gone to combat with that organization, mm -hmm. uh, served with all the soldiers there. Um, it was interesting coming back now and saying, okay, now you're in charge of getting this installation, supporting families the way that it should. Not that it wasn't before, but it's it's a legacy of great leadership uh, that's been at Fort Campbell over the years. And I don't know that everybody in town recognizes that it's like a city inside of mm -hmm. the city. And in your time there on Fort Campbell, I've heard some cool stories. I believe you were the bodyguard to now President Joe Biden. Did you ever think that he would become president? And how does that make you feel? Yeah. That he is? Yeah. I mean, during my time there, I, that uh, I was I was strictly the garrison commander. Now, in a previous life, um, 2009, 2010, I did work as the Army military aide to the vice president. So that was my title. Uh, my job was to carry the nuclear football for the vice president. Uh, Which is the button that if you push it, something's going to explode. I can't talk about <laughs> what that thing does or what it has in it, but it, it, it is there to ensure that our our we have succession of government taken right. care of it, it was a lot of fun you get to see a part of our government that you normally don't even think about now fast forward here uh vice president biden is now president biden and knowing uh him and his family and having had the privilege to serve with with him and the great people that that he has working with him now is one of the top honors of my life. Yeah. On the residential side of Milan Enterprises, we have veterans and active duty military living with us. And we just are curious why you think it would be great to stay in Clarksville. Why did you stay in Clarksville? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great question. You know, one of the things that I found really uh, important is knowing that m my family is going to be taken care of no matter what. And when we came to Fort Campbell this time in 2015, it was actually the second time that we had been assigned to Fort Campbell. So the first time was 2005 to 2008. And during that period, I was deployed 27 months. And so being in Iraq all that time, you know, I really got to see what does it look like when a community wraps their arms around families and takes care of them? This is the place to be. It's really good to hear you talk about the community and the reasons why you wanted to, to stay here with your family. We have actually taken some phone calls recently about some active duty military that are in Germany right now. And they're looking for a place to stay when they come home. And they want this town to be their home. And uh, we are doing our best to work with them to hopefully have that home for them when we, they do get back. And we have a couple of properties out there towards Fort Campbell uh, on Patriot Park. We also have our Autumn Ridge apartment community available and we're actively working with them to hopefully make this feel like their home and have the same experience that you did as well and reasons that you wanna stay to get yeah, them to stay. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, that's awesome. You know, as we continue to grow and change and you know, money, money.com said number one place to live in America. Right. Yeah. I mean, so that's not an accident, you know, that's a culture. You know, we have a number of tenants, commercial tenants who are former military men, such as uh, Cole's coffee. He's one of them at 741 Madison. Uh, we have a barber named Jeremiah that's transitioned doing well. Even the owner of our company, Leo Milan was former air force. Mm -hmm. So we have a large portfolio of veterans and uh, on that on that side of town, of course, we have 100 Quinn Lane, which is a retail center where a lot of military members go and shop. And um, 1964 Campbell, we have a warehouse out there. We're always growing and expanding. We're building new retail centers out that way in the future. But now that we're talking about transition, I'm curious to hear from you. Do you have any advice for guys or, or girls that are transitioning out to be successful 
in the business world? Yeah, I, I think that there are fundamentals that are true, regardless of whether or not you're in the military or in business, mm -hmm. that are, it's important to recognize that everybody needs to know where you're going. And then I think that how we communicate needs to be a little bit predictable. I, you know, I don't care who you are. You kind of want to show up prepared for meetings so that you don't look a fool. And so in the military, we had a rhythm of meetings that I know that on Tuesdays, I'm going to have this kind of meeting at one o'clock in the afternoon that, so I can prepare for it, show up at, at the right time with the right information and provide feedback. And, and that doesn't happen in all companies, but mm -hmm. the companies that do that on a predictable basis are, are successful. What has your experience um, with Milan Enterprises been like? You know, some businesses that we work with, are driven by money and profit and we're going to do whatever it takes to get to that dollar but i think that what is unique about milan is that you've got a, a very diverse group of people who've come together who are aren't driven they don't see money as the end state they see let let's do the right thing for the right reasons to get the right results and money is a byproduct of that when those folks decided to call from germany to ask about a place to stay like that was the best decision they could have made. Well, thank you for saying that. And you know, our team partnered with Solutions 21, which is where you now work. And uh, one of the things that came out of that meeting was sort of our mission statement, which is we build great projects by building great people first. So that people first mentality that you're talking about was really extrapolated by you and your team. So we thank you for that. Yeah. And hey, Rob, thank you so much for joining us today. I learned a lot about military life that I didn't know. I learned why you're still still here in Clarksville. So we're, we're glad that you're still here and that you're doing business and you're a part of the community. So thank you so much for all you do, Rob. Well, thank you for the opportunity. It's been really great to spend some time with you today. Yeah, awesome. And that does it for episode two of Live, Work, Play Clarksville. This was the Fort Campbell edition. As always, we drop these web series monthly, and we hope you enjoy our content. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning into our web series, Live, Work, Play Clarksville. I'm Jennifer Semro. And I'm Josh Ward. We're with Milan Enterprises, and this is a web series designed to give you some insight as to what's happening in the commercial and the residential market, as well as some fun and interesting activities happening around the city. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show.